Well, this is a little bit of an unplanned vlog, but who doesn't like a good ride story? Today's Good Friday when I'm shooting this video and I have the day off. Wife is at work, kids are at school. I had planned to do a really long mountain bike ride down at Santos, but the weather uh, was not looking good. So I decided to do a gravel ride. I was gonna do Zwift based on the weather, but when I checked it this morning, it looked okay. It looked like it wasn't supposed to start storming until about one, so I plan to be back a little after 12. And I was about an hour and 35 minutes into the ride when the storm hit about an hour and a half earlier than it was supposed to. And I was on a paved trail. So the ride was going to be kind of gravel and paved bike trail, uh, a little bit of pavement, which you got to do sometimes to connect gravel roads. But the paved trail, uh, the paved bike trail I was on, I was on a section that had a lot of tree cover when the storm hit. And living in Florida, we're accustomed to thunderstorms, strong winds, strong storms, and sometimes you get caught in it. Sometimes they're a little bit scary. But this one was actually probably the worst storm I've ever been caught in as far as the, the wind and the, the rain, uh, how heavy it was. Um, when I was on the paved bike path, I looked up and I saw the trees above me. I mean, there was debris falling right in front of me. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. The, when I was riding, there were I was getting thunderstorm warnings on my Garmin and then tornado watches. Uh, it may have been a little. Bit, I don't know if it was a little tornado, but um, I was looking up almost the whole time. I only had like a half a mile to go on this bike path, but I was looking up and making sure that a top of a tree didn't break off or a huge branch like right on me. Um, I've actually had that happen before many, many, many years ago. Um, I was on a road ride with a couple guys and a storm came through and the top of a tree broke off and landed. It wasn't like it almost hit us, but it was right in front of us. And had we been a couple seconds up the road, it would have landed on us. But so I was thinking about that when I was on this bike trail and uh, fortunately no branch broke off, no top of the tree broke off. and. Um, I came to a little station where the, where the uh, bike trail ends and I got some water and the rain is absolutely sideways, I mean pouring. Uh, and, it, and the temperature dropped probably 10, 10 degrees Fahrenheit uh, within like a couple minutes. And I started, you know, kind of heading back home. So I was thinking maybe this is just like a squall, like little, you know, band. Because like, like I said, it was, it was still an hour and a half away from when it was supposed to really start raining. And so I pulled into a gas station and the rain just got harder and harder. And the wind, it was probably 50 mile an hour gusts uh, coming through. And I checked the radar. This is it. So I took a little screenshot and I'm the little dot right in the middle of that. And I was like, oh no, this is not, <laughs> this is not just a little uh, band coming through. and It's going to lighten up for a little bit. Uh, I had to stay inside this gas station for probably 20 minutes or more. I'm um, just waiting out. I could see that the, the initial squall line was going to come through and then it was going to be lighter. And unfortunately, like I had planned my ride so I would have a tailwind all the way back home. I had had a headwind all the way up until that point. And I was ju I'm really just getting ready to take off with the tailwind when the, the storm hit. And so I waited and I just, you know, I wanted to get home. Like I... I knew my dog was going to be freaking out because she freaks out with storms. I, I wanted to make sure she was okay, make sure that the house was okay because it was serious. Like I didn't know if it, you know tornadoes were coming through, and so I finally just looked outside and the rain had let up a little bit, and I was like, I'm just going to go for it. And so I kind of the plan from that point was I was going to be on a paved road for a couple miles and then back on gravel, and um, <clears throat> fortunately this road had a really good bike lane, pretty wide, nice smooth road. And I had to change my route. I had to just stay on this road. I could not, the, the gravel roads were just completely muddy at this point. Uh, it was just going, it was going to take me a lot longer to get home. So as soon as I got back on the road, there were emergency vehicles going by. Um, trees had come over the road and emergency vehicles were clearing them out. And this, this, this is why I don't road ride. This is why I've given up road riding. I'm on this road, and then there was a right hand, like kind of not a 90 degree bend, a little less than that. And so some truck kind of comes in front of me a little close. I'm like, man, that, that wasn't cool. 
And then the, the, there was a pickup truck behind him and he came around me so close. I mean, all he had to do was wait three seconds, literally three seconds for me to go by. But he, I mean, we're talking massive storm, wind, rain pouring down. And this, I'm gonna keep this G-rated. This gentleman comes around me so fast, his tires are squealing and the truck is almost going sideways just so he can make it around me and save three seconds. There are people who should not have driver's licenses. I'm, I had to uh, repent of some words that came out of my mouth at that point. Um, and so I had to shake that off. And uh, you know, as I'm going, like the rain is still pouring down. There's debris all over the bike lane. I can barely see, I'm, I'm hitting branches. I'm on the cyclocross bike, by the way, which <laughs> was a really good bike to be on. And you know, I'm, I'm watching my rear view mirror like a hawk, ready, ready to pull off in case a car doesn't see me. Fortunately, I have my flashing tail light on, which I always have on on my gra uh, gravel bike, um, you know, cross bike, gravel bike. Uh, I always have that thing on. And so that, so glad I had that. Um, and then I was on that road and a lightning bolt hit like within, I don't know, it, 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 there was almost no delay between the flash and the sound. So you know, it's probably a hundred yards away. Uh, so, uh, you know, and, 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 and then, then I, I came into this town and I had to take a paved road that I hate. Like I never ride this road, uh, but I had to ride it because the gravel roads were washed, you know, just like I said, a muddy mess. And I wanted to go home as fast as possible. And this was the direct line. And uh, so I'm having to watch my rear view mirror so closely, uh, you know, there's, I'm riding through puddles, water's going everywhere. There's still debris like all over the road. And uh, it was like one of those moments. So, I, you know, I get caught in storms, like I said, and I've, all the years I ride, I ride, I've had maybe a couple times where I'm like, oh crap, this is not good. This, this could be bad. Like uh, one of those moments where you're just like, yeah, this, I, I could have avoided this. And so, uh, yeah, it was, it was one of the scarier moments on a bicycle I've had in a long time. I mean, sitting here in my living room, we're out of power. I mean, um, I've been home for a couple hours now and there's no power in the house. Uh, but sitting here in the living room, I'm like, yeah, you know, it wasn't that bad. But when I was out there, like, you know, this is one of those, like, you have a lump in your throat, like this, this is not good. Um, I had, you know, it's work day. I didn't have anybody to come pick me up. I called my wife. She was at work and she didn't answer. And, you know, so <laughs> anyway, just one of those ride stories that I hope to not tell again. Uh, but I will be a little bit more attentive to, to watching the weather. Uh, you know, even looking at the Weather Channel app right before I headed out, it, it did not say anything about the rain coming through that early. Uh, but I should have looked at the radar kind of, if I look at the radar, I can kind of see how fast things are coming through. For some reason, I just didn't do that. So yeah, that's my uh, ride story uh, on Good Friday. Uh, ride gone bad on Good Friday. But anyway, just wanted to kind of uh, sit around and chat about a, a ride story. So how about y'all? What's the worst, worst uh, storm you've been caught in? Leave that in the comments below. Thanks for watching.